Hello everyone, welcome to the Tech Eddie Show. I'm your host, Eddie Ray, where we do tips, tricks, and tutorial videos for live streamers, gamers, and content creators. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to stream via Facebook Live at XSplit Broadcaster. Stay tuned. So those of you curious about live streaming on Facebook, this video is for you. Whether you do a podcast, a talk show, you can stream anything you'd like from your personal profile page or a brand page too. And there's Facebook gaming too, which came onto the scene a couple of years back and has grown really significantly over the past year or so. So give it a try. I'll show you all the steps today to get started. If you missed our previous video of how to set up a live stream for YouTube next to Broadcaster, I'll put the link in the description below as well. Okay, it's time to set up our output for Facebook Live and XSplit Broadcast. So go to the top menu and click on Broadcast. Any outputs you already have will be up here at the top. So I already have YouTube Live for a couple of YouTube channels and a Facebook output. But today, we'll do a brand new one for you. So go to set up a new output right here. Look for Facebook Live. and This will take you through a step-by-step -step wizard to go into your Facebook account and give access to it and permissions. Okay, so here we go. We're going to log in with Facebook and click on this. It's going to ask for your username, of course, and password, so you'll be entering that in. Now, I already have a, an account set up here, so I can click on that if I wanted to, but we're going to add a new account just for the sake of the tutorial today. Click Add New Account. I'm going to enter my email in here. My password, and click Login. All right, so I have two factors set up, so I'll go through this really quickly. All right, there we go. Now XSplit's connecting with Facebook Live, and boom, we are good. So now we are connected to our Facebook account. Okay, and as we were recording this, my light up here it was not fully charged, it went out. Don't tell anybody, I forgot to charge it. Have some lights on back here, we'll be okay. So let's get on with the setup here. So Facebook Live is now officially connected to XSplit Broadcaster. And there's a few cool things here. So like YouTube, you only have one place you can stream on, your YouTube channel, and that's it. With Facebook, you can stream to your personal profile or a company brand page or a fan page. So you can kind of choose where your content goes. You could choose one or the other, depending upon what you're doing that stream. So keep that in mind. So right here, it says stream two and page. Uh, if you have more than one page, of course, two, that will also show up here. I have many pages, so for me, it shows plenty of them. But for you, if you only have one or two, they will show up here with your account. If you want to go to your personal profile, click on here and click on timeline and that will stream to your profile okay of the account you set up through XSplit Broadcaster. The format right now we're set up at 1920 by 1080 in XSplit Broadcaster however if we click on this we can kind of see if we scroll up here that 1080p is in red which means it's not recommended to stream on because uh, I have really bad internet here right now I only have a really old DSL line, 20 years old. So it's not recommended streaming to 1080p, 60fps, or even 30fps, not even 720p. In fact, we only have a green light here for 480p, which makes sense, 360 or 240p. Uh, so this is kind of cool, though, because when you're setting up Facebook Live with XSplit Broadcaster, it also tests your internet connection and gives you recommended settings for streaming right out of the gate. So make sure you connect to the internet that you actually want to be streaming from. And now I usually use a hotspot, so I didn't have it on today for this setup, so that's why I'm using a DSL line now, and that's why I only have uh, these few options here. So keep that in mind. When you connect the source to Facebook Live, make sure you're using the internet you want to use for streaming. That way it will set up your best possible output for streaming, okay? So, again, recommended here would be just 480p. So we would click on this here, because it's in green. That would be good to go. When in red, stop, no go, okay? <laughs> it also chooses the encoder for you based on your PC specs. For me, it recommends my GeForce GTX video card. You can also click on these, but it also may give you these recommendations here based on your, your computer specs, so keep that in mind. Uh, and then also we have the bitrate here, 
We're down all the way down to 938 kilobits per second, but for you, it may be higher or lower depending upon your internet connection, so keep that in mind. I recommend clicking this here actually too, so when you stream, this will save the stream as a recording to your hard drive. That way you can post that elsewhere or edit that to clip out to YouTube or something like that. So I recommend actually having this clicked for your own good. Now we could click continue here or save and close. Uh, we can also click on advanced and we'll see more of the encoding here, more of the bitrate options, audio, audio encoding too. Um, I wouldn't recommend really changing any of this right now because it already tested your internet speed in the basic settings. So that's pretty much the way it should be set up. But you can tweak things back here if you want. Also, if you want more information on this kind of setup here with more of the streaming and coding and bitrate, uh, check our video out on how to stream with bad internet. We kind of go over all of these settings here in depth and detail, including resolutions as well. Okay, so when you're satisfied with all of the settings you have here, you can just click on save and close or continue. Now I was going to say that I have um, a really low bit rate for my setup. That's because right now I'm showing 1920 by 1080 up here. I'd want to change that actual output to 480p or less to stream with that bit rate of 938. We'll click OK anyway. Okay, so the output should be set up correctly. We'll go up to broadcast here. And there it is. So Facebook Live, that's a new one, Eddie Ray. If we click on this, I'll show you a few other little things you can do here as well. So if we're going to set up a video now for our live stream, we can click on New Live and enter the information here. Also, if you have a scheduled live stream, which you can do uh, in your Facebook page in the streamer dashboard, uh, just go to Facebook and look for the streamer dashboard on your Facebook page. We could find our scheduled live streams here. But for now, all we have is the new live set up. So we can enter our title in, test stream, and any description you want to again as well for whatever you're streaming. You can enter some uh, kind of keywords or tags here if you want to as well. If you're doing a video game, enter that here. And of course, your privacy. If you're doing a test stream, only me, uh, just for your friends, of course, or public as well, depending upon what you're streaming. Once you're ready to go, you click Start Broadcast and you'll be streaming on Facebook Live. So besides doing a new live stream, like I said, you can also do a scheduled live stream. So right here, we can click on Manage Scheduled Live Videos and click on this. So bring up a new little box for us to enter our information into. So there we go. New Scheduled Live. Again, we can enter our title here, description, content, tags, video game and such. Now we can click Add Schedule. Make this kind of only me for now and Add Schedule. So now we can enter our scheduled start time and dates right here, and also the exact start time for the stream here. Then we can also upload a thumbnail or image for the stream. And when we click on create scheduled live, that will actually post it directly to our brand page or personal profile as a scheduled live stream. That way people can actually check it out and set reminders for themselves. They can like it and keep up to date with your content and live streams. And that is a wrap and XSplit Broadcaster, really easy to set up Facebook Live. I highly recommend creating a brand page or a fan page for your content creation. Um, that way you can kind of uh, have a fan page and a community started on that page itself uh, because you probably don't want to stream everything to your personal profile page. Just a recommendation I would give to you. But give it a try. Facebook Live is a really fun platform to stream on and have fun with it. Let me know in the comments below how you make out. Those of you wanting to enhance your recordings or live streams, I highly recommend XSplit Software. There's an entire suite now, and I've done dozens of tutorial videos covering almost every area of this, from XSplit Broadcaster and Gamecaster, Virtual Cam, and the Express Video Editor. I'll include a link below in the description to XSplit.com for more information on their products. Make sure you use promo code TECHEDDY right here for 10% off your purchase. Thanks for your support. So there you go, a pretty easy way to set up an output for Facebook Live in XSplit Broadcaster. I totally recommend giving Facebook Live a try. It's a fun platform to stream on. I've had a bunch of success with it too, and I may continue to actually stream on there from time to time. So let me know in the comments below what you thought, and don't forget to check out our other videos too, including how to stream with bad internet. That will show you all of the other options with bitrate and encoding as well. Thanks for watching the Tech Eddie Show. I'm Eddie Ray. We'll see you back here next time.